Hi, I'm Tracy, the Chief Exec at the Ayrshire Hospice. I am here today to introduce to you a short film that was made a few days ago on the Capital Project site in Racecourse Road in Ayr, the site of our new hospice development. I hope that you can see from the film a bit of a sense of the scale of the project. Despite the rain and the wind on the day of filming, hopefully some of the spirit of the Ayrshire Hospice will come across. I will be standing outside one of the patios to give you a bit of a sense of what that might be like for a patient and their family using the inpatient unit. I'll also show you where the old and the new blend together nicely within the coffee shop area. I feel it's really important that we continue to share with you the developments on site at Racecourse Road. This is a hospice for the whole community and we would like to keep you as updated as we possibly can during the build. I'm standing uh, outside what will be two of the patios that come out from the inpatient unit bedrooms where we will have the ability to take a bed uh, outside and a patient can enjoy the fresh air on their own secluded patio. You can see as part of the construction that the patios and the um, partitions between each of the patios has now got more definition. You may recognise this component of the old hospice which was where our rotunda stood and where the glass walkway main entrance into the previous hospice used to be. As you can see that has now been removed and this will form the new reception area of our hospice but predominantly this area to my right here will become our new coffee shop. There will be glass wall here where our public and patients and families will be able to sit within the coffee shop and enjoy the view out into the garden. Our philosophy here at the hospice is that we will bring the community of Ayrshire Narn in to utilise the facilities within our building. So we hope that you will come and have one of our famous scones and a cup of coffee. As you can see, McLaughlin and Harvey, our contractors, are moving at pace. And since we last filmed here on site in November, there has been a significant amount of change and further development. I'm hoping that you're able to get a sense of the scale of the project here. Where I stand right now will be a linked area between the start of the inpatient unit, our education centre and our coffee shop. So things are coming together. There's lots of different trades here on site and things are moving along at pace as you would expect. It will come as no surprise that there is a significant financial cost associated with a construction project of this magnitude. I have absolutely no doubt that there is true value for money and every penny is well considered and well spent within this project. What is the value of palliative and end of life care? We know that when you are diagnosed with a life limiting illness, that what matters most to you is the way in which you're cared for, the people that you have sur surrounding you and how much of your life you are truly able to live while you may be dying. The magic in the care that is delivered at the Ayrshire Hospice is something truly special. And if you have experienced that care or somebody you love has experienced that care, then you will perhaps understand what I mean. So to spend this money on a project this size is extraordinary, but it is extraordinarily important to the population of Ayrshire Nam and palliative and end of life care is critical. Critical in a climate at the moment where care is more difficult. So please, I would ask you to consider if you feel able to help us in our project here at the Ayrshire Hospice.